welcome to take care guys this is Saurav and today we are going to play some light end games which means um, subway surf tempered run 2 leo's fortune these kinds of games uh, on the xiaomi redmi 2 prime there will be a upcoming high end game high end game review of this phone but as of now we are going to play some low end games on this phone so see how this phone performs so um, as you can let me first quickly uh, see you that the battery is currently at one minute the but battery is currently at 41 degree temperature it's currently at 41 degree temperature and that and the temp at 41 degrees percentage the battery and the temperature is currently 35 degrees centigrade which is quite okay so now let's just pay, play the light end games which we have uh, the games uh, one minute. the games we have clear the ram the games we have here and these are as you can see uh, are Temple Run, Cut the Rope, Fruit Ninja, Subway Surf, and Leo's Fortune. So, we are gonna start with uh, playing the So we are going to start playing games with the Fruit Ninja. One minute, oh, here it is. So let's see how well it happens here. One minute. So as the gameplay goes, uh, the game performs really well, there is no doubt about it. And uh, the audio quality from the speaker is also quite nice. Uh, I am facing a little bit of heat from this section. So I will just check the temperature again and see how, uh, what is the temperature of the phone currently right now. So we are using the CPU-Z. Uh, just give me a moment please. Uh, yes, the battery has been dropped by 1% and the currently the temperature is 37 degrees centigrade so it's okay but this this position this thing this side this position actually feels a little bit heated up we don't have any thermal gun to check that but uh, leave it so now we are gonna start the um, subway surf let's see how well it performs in case of subway surf We are playing the subway of Greece. Just a minute.
uh, we are playing in the balance mode and I'm facing a little bit hiccups. I don't know why this happens always whenever I'm playing the game, but it happens each and every time I do this. Uh, so we are now playing the uh, subway surf. Uh, apart from that hiccup that we faced, the uh, game plays really smooth. I, you can see another hiccup right here. Uh, the gameplay is smooth, the game performs really well and the display. I won't say a little more word on this display, the display is simply amazing and what you can expect from 7000 or 7000 phone. So it's quite nice. Uh, let's play a bit more. So here was the subway surf gameplay. Uh, I won't say the gameplay was best. I won't say the gameplay was best because I failed a minor hiccups here and there. So the gameplay is simply not the best I would say but apart from that minor hiccups in one or two positions the gameplay is quite good. So we just move on to a new game which is uh, cut the rope. It's another a favorite game of mine and you can th think why I'm playing this cut the rope game but trust me although it's an arcade type of game but uh, but it really uh, is a graphics hungry game you can see the display quality of this game it's quite awesome so just a minute let me just So, you uh, can see we are playing the game. So, let's play a little bit more. Uh, I have no complaint regarding the uh, display, regarding the uh, audio quality. Quite, quite, quite a nice. And you just can't expect a more from products in this price range. So, it's quite good. Uh, the gameplay is also quite good. So just let's get back from this and uh, now start the uh, Temple Run 2. Let's start it and uh, I'm, I'm facing some issues you can see that I have to tilt my phone a lot on the right side so that the guy can uh, keep himself in the middle of the road which I think is a linear acceleration sensor issue uh, which means the phone has some faults inbuilt 
uh, yes definitely it has uh, so I am gonna call my I'm not gonna call snap sorry it's happening due to the sensor issue I'm I'm just trying to play the way the game the way it should be played uh, and when I'm trying to look 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 how where has he been there look when I'm trying to when I'm trying to keep the phone steady as the way it should be the guy moves to uh, the guy moves to the um, left and it's completely unbearable look you just can't put him in the put him in the right size look how much do I need to tilt my phone this is completely awkward gameplay and I'm facing a lot of problems so however the game doesn't lag but the sensor sucks everything the game doesn't lag there is no issue in lagging in the lag of the game there is no lags no frame drops whatsoever the game play, gameplay is really nice really cool it looks awesome but the sensor issue it sucks I just have to tilt my phone a lot so that he can keep himself in the middle of the road okay so just beat now look see oh boy it's completely unplayable in this uh, in this mobile in this particular mobile I'm not gonna tell that every Xiaomi phone will, every, every Redmi 2 Prime will have this issue oh. I'm sorry that uh, I had to charge my phone uh, sorry I'm charged my camera when I was shooting the battery got exhausted and um, I just have to charge the camera and then I'm again back with um, the games I guess I'm gonna play and the last game is the Leo's fortune so let's just play the game and house and see first of all sorry a little bit time give me a stand please let me just uh, tell you two things that uh, first of all I charged the phone to check how the Qualcomm as Xiaomi has told that the charger given with the Redmi 2 Prime supports Qualcomm quick charge version 1 so I just tested that how quick the phone actually get charged um, it nearly uh, it nearly took 1 hour and 15 minutes to reach uh, to reach to reach 82 percent charge from 35 percent so 35 to 82 uh, which means 45 percent charge 45 percent batteries 47 percent batteries nearly charged in uh, 101 hour and 15 minutes so it's okay quite acceptable which means it will take nearly um, maximum two hours to to get the battery fully charged it's a 2200 milliampere battery um, so so it was all uh, so let's just start with uh, gaming and uh, we start with the leo's fortune uh, here it is I'm again telling you that uh, the gaming qual gaming dis the display the performance of this high uh, low end games are quite good. The display is awesome in every possible way. So you don't have to worry that uh, it's not a bad display after all. Sorry for that. Uh, it's not a bad display after all, and you will get completely satisfied with the display quality as well as the camera quality the camera quality is same as the uh, redmi 2 but uh, as you know that Xiaomi always provides two things at a very uh, two things of Xiaomi are always so much great one is the uh, display which is always an awesome display they give us and the second one is the uh, the the uh, camera so both of them are very good in this uh, mobile at this uh, price point 7000 it's very good so I have no I have no uh, complaint against Xiaomi but I am worried about a little bit heating issue I don't know why but I have heard that Snapdragon 410 sometimes heat I have never faced some so any issues I, uh, I don't have any Snapdragon 410 mobile as of now but Still, I'm a little bit uh, not happy with the after all hitting issue because uh, 
hitting in high end games is acceptable but hitting in low end games is not acceptable i just don't i can't accept that it will get heated up, up to uh, more than 40 degree in low low uh, low graphics gaming but just can't do anything and uh, i have updated to the latest firmware latest update that has been given by Xiaomi so uh, Anyway, let me just uh, remove it all. So this was all guys, um, the low end gaming in the Xiaomi Redmi 2 Prime. I'm overall happy with the gaming. I'm very much happy with the gaming. It performed really well in Fruit Ninja. It performed uh, really well in Cut the Rope. Uh, although in Subway Surf, uh, sometimes it really lagged, uh, lagged a lot, I would say. But that's acceptable. Uh, Leo's fortune played well and as you know that my phone have a sensor issue that forced me to quit the temple run too but the temporal temple run gameplay was smooth but the uh, sensor the sensor really sucked everything but that's a phone's fault that's um, I've talked to Snapdeal then they told me that they will give me the full refund I don't want the phone because it's a faulty one and just I just I just I'm happy with the phone after all, with its display, with its camera, with its audio quality. Uh, 3G works well and uh, as you have know, Pratik has uploaded a routing review. So please check that out. Uh, anything um, else if you want to know about the phone, you can comment on the, you can comment on our video. We will definitely help you out. And uh, after this video, I'm going to post another video on uh, the high-end gaming. So please keep subscribe to our channel stay tuned to our channel for that video and thanks for watching it again it was sort of and it was nice to have you this is sort of signing off from tech yard have a nice day goodbye